there has been an apology that was made to JK and we need to talk about that. We need to get into a kiss that apparently went too far and then we have clips talking about the truth of the dumpling incident. Say dumplings and save to say, let's get into it. So the moments that I am going to be referencing in today's video are mostly going to center around what was aired on Are You Sure, which is Jimin and JK's reality show. They actually revealed something that we all wanted to know about for years and has even become lore within the community. This is none other than the dumpling incident that happened between V and Jimin. This incident was a moment that people were confused by because from what we know, it sounds very dramatic and very unnecessary as to why they fought over this and why it was such a big story. Because the community has been very much aware that it brought the two together, but how and why? Not too long ago, Jimin was actually asked about the dumpling incident on a live stream, and if I remember correctly, this was a stream that happened not too long after the karaoke carbo episode. And Jim basically said that he would not talk about it because the story is shared by two people, and if he had gotten upset too, no matter how small the reason might be, he should still be able to tell it. Jimin didn't say that specifically, but I'm adding that in there. Two sides of the story should always be considered, and Jimin didn't want to just tell his side. The community has since then put it in the back of their head and figured we would all never really know. Well, apparently, in the reality show, Jimin talked about how after he was so angry, his body was completely shaking. And I guess he used to experience this a lot when he got angry, which is obviously not a good trait because if an interviewer says something really gross to him, he obviously can't show that he is angry and is supposed to show that he is calm and maybe he doesn't care. Also being aware of that if it is a really messed up thing that the interviewer says, people like me who talk about BTS and the rest of the community will have his back and be angry for him. Anyway, Jimin revealed on the reality show that V seemed to have mocked Jimin right after the argument. And my guess is that the argument was already annoying and they both were probably pissed, but it probably was going to be forgotten or resolved by the next day, but since V decided to allegedly mock and make a mocking face towards Jimin, it probably extended the argument and made Jimin a lot more angry. And maybe that was really what the argument was. Jimin then revealed that he and V didn't talk for the next two days after that, and then continued to say that it took a very long time for V and Jimin to become as close as they are now. And this is very normal when a lot of people are forced to stay together for a long time. Before the boys were in a band, they didn't all know each other and they were all fairly random people that were just put together. You cannot expect them to all get along constantly. However, what I will say is not normal and something extraordinary that the boys do is that they resolve their issues and they come back stronger for it. And truly, because they could just as easily let the argument go and then just focus on themselves and their own career. However, Jimin will not only not just focus on himself, but he will actually root for V and help V whenever he can. So it's actual family love. They see each other as family. And if you want to see other cute moments of the boys, then make sure you check out the Patreon. There's thousands of videos there. I upload it Monday through Friday for the last four to five years, and it's $1.95 for all that, and that is limited. It's linked at the top of the description. Please check it out if you want to. There's been a lot of clips that have been trending and floating around. One of them was none other than a recent apology that someone gave to JK. If you're not aware, Min Yan from G Idol attended the M Countdown. This is a award show, and JK won an award apparently. The award was a long time ago and I think JK was at the time filming a lot of things. I think this was before the military but I don't think Jungkook had time to attend the award show. So Min Yan was put up on stage to accept the award for Jungkook. While she was accepting the award and talking a bit, she held the award in an awkward place, not thinking much, and the head of the award actually rolled off. This was surprising. It wasn't a big deal. A show new from Monster X actually picked it up and it was brushed off. It was very odd because the head should be screwed on or glued on better definitely shouldn't have just rolled off because that means even if it was held upright or put on a shelf, it would have eventually just rolled off the shelf and that's so not good. But apparently Minyan took it upon herself during a more recent video, decided to apologize again for that, even though it's clearly not her fault. She didn't make the award break and JK actually reacted to this as apparently he watched it live. He basically said thank you to ARMY who voted him in and then had a good laugh about the trophy head rolling off. He definitely wasn't offended and he has so many awards, this is definitely not anything he thinks about. Now, given that years later, Minyan is still talking about this and apologizing, people think that this is really cute and funny. They love that she still feels responsible for this and feels bad about it. They don't love that she feels bad, but they love that she still acknowledges it. And this is just one of those things where you just have to admit that things happen and let it go because JK does not care. And I've always wondered what it means for another celebrity to accept an award on behalf of another celebrity. Does that award then later get shipped right to the right person or how does that work? If anyone knows, 
please let me know. Now, Jakey hasn't formally acknowledged Mignon's apology, but he has laughed it off and is not upset about it at all. I'm wondering if Armia had given her a hard time about it, because clearly JK just thought it was funny and doesn't really care. Now, of course, there are going to be people who think that since Mignon has brought it up, that she is doing it for clout, but you're always going to have people think that no matter what someone does, because anytime anyone talks about BTS, they're doing it for clout. And is the goal here to get everyone to stop talking about BTS altogether? I've asked people about this and why they think that people get upset about this. And the only answer I hear a lot is that the community can sometimes get jealous that there are people who are almost like professional fangirls and fanboys. And there's nothing to be jealous of. Anyone can do this. Just post or make content about the BTS members and you too can be one. Ask me or any other YouTuber for advice on how to grow. They'll give it to you. We can work together and be fangirls. We don't need to attack each other. There's even been other moments that have gotten people freaking out that are a part of their reality show, Are You Sure? There was this lore or another lore that was actually answered in this recent episode, which is that RM and JK kiss. If you don't remember this specific moment that happened a really long time ago, JK just seemingly walked up to RM and kissed him on the forehead. And people were very confused as to why he did that and wanted to know the real story behind this. Well, apparently it was answered today in the most recent episode. JK talked about this specific moment and he asked Jimin if Jimin remembered this specific moment and Jimin said yes. Later on, apparently RM told JK off very quietly and then turned really red. JK was talking about this moment saying that he probably should have not done this because RM also whispered and said that JK crossed the line by doing this. Now there's been a couple of comments about this. Some people have thought it was cute and other people have basically said that this is almost like borderline harassment or something like that. And of course, kissing someone without their consent isn't great, but they are friends. RM was laughing about this. It wasn't necessarily a big deal. JK is also younger and definitely much younger at the time that this happened. So he probably didn't know better. He probably thought it was not a big deal and he just went ahead and did this. And RM just let JK know that he didn't like that. I'm assuming that this was probably the first time something like this happened because if RM told JK off before, this likely would have never happened again. Now, is this harassment? I don't think JK did anything bad. We've all done something without someone's consent to someone and then when they say, we don't like this, we stop and that's a sign of a good person. Kiss on the forehead, hug, any sort of those things can be considered harassment if the person doesn't like it, but only when you're aware that the person doesn't like it. These are not things that always mean someone wouldn't like it. In Europe or in a lot of other places, a kiss or a hug is not seen as something that is really gross, weird, or whatever. Another thing that other people were talking about was this idea of the ship, because a lot of people have shipped RM and JK together. And so people are wondering what's going to happen with that, whereas it's clear that RM doesn't like it. And these are the things that are interesting to think about, right? When people come up with ships and they come up with their own fantasy, we never know what's actually happening behind behind the scenes and whether the members or whoever actually likes it. In this case, they may not. So it's nice to see this side and get an answer to that because then we can be more cautious of who we ship. Now, how we're doing it and if it makes them uncomfortable because we can always ship I think that's fine, but maybe keep it to ourselves and let it be something for your own private fantasy. Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out Patreon for more videos. I'll link down below. Thanks to Sylvie Comment right here. Love you. Bye.